one of my coaches always used to say, nothing in this world was created alone. Mm. She That's dropping me. Oh, 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 My first question is actually like, what are some fun stories overseas? Uh, overseas is different for me. It's different. Um, being away from my family is like really hard for me. But uh, as women athletes, we, we have to go over there to provide for our families, for ourselves. So um, it's been it's been rough. And obviously, like you going over there, you don't get like proper care, proper treatment. They be acting crazy in a lot of these countries. They don't respect women. So you go into these different environments, cultures, and it's like. Y'all, I'm about to throw hands. Mm -hmm. So that first break, I usually be coming home and I'd be like, hey, y'all, I'm not coming I'm not back. back. I'm not coming back. back. It's crazy that you mentioned like um, about they don't respect women because a lot of those cultures don't, you know what yeah. I mean? And like, especially in Turkey, they were telling me like, we like the women in those families like don't get respect. So like when we're in practice, like we're not doing that. They like looking at us like, but you are because I'm a man and you're a woman. But I think the biggest thing for me is just like, they get to go home to their families every night, you know what I mean? So, like, they don't have that same kind of mindset, like, when you're coming into practice, knowing the sacrifice you're making of being away for seven months. Yeah, you sign this contract for money, but, like, just have a little bit of human decency to understand, like, I'm away from my family. You go home to your mom and your kids every night. I'm going home by myself, trying to figure out, like, what book to read, watching the paint, watching paint dry. Like, I fantasize about what hairstyle I'm going to wear five months later. Like, and I'm like, no, I think I'm going to get a weave. No, I think I'm going to get a ponytail. No, I think I'm going to get braids. Jazz, what you think I should get? Like, I'm caught. <laughs> They're like, girl, that's five months away. But you fan like, you, you're, you become an extremist about stuff that is just very minimal. Overseas is crazy. Yeah. Like, we be in dangerous ass situations. Yeah. Like, not yeah. even being funny. Like, was especially there, being black overseas. 100%. Was there ever a situation where y'all were like, because I know certain players got trapped in alleys, got like, they couldn't have a room. I'm like, are there any crazy situations like that that you had to? I honestly have. Like, I know I was driving back home one time in Poland, and I got in like a baby small fender bender. Like, I was, like, I had a stick shift, and so I was driving, and the car didn't take off, so I just bumped them, like, yeah. slightly. I was, it was snow outside so it was slippery and like I know the police pulled up and like I called my coach like hey like the police are here I, I can't speak Polish and he came he came to me he was like you gotta pay him a thousand dollars cash my coach I was like pay him a thousand dollars cash he was like this is the only way you won't go to jail I was like so you gonna let them take me to jail he was like this is the only way so I'm at the ATM like with my coach like taking out all this cash and I just give it to the cops no. And they were like, fine, wash. Now, my first year overseas was terrible, too, though. It wasn't nothing like that. But it was like, uh, I was in Cyprus. Oh, on the on the I Turkish side, there. though. Yeah. <sighs> oh, my God. <laughs> so, like, we, <laughs> we couldn't use the water. We had to use, we had to get bottles. That's to, cute. Yeah, nah, but see, this was my first, this was my first year overseas, so mm -mm. I didn't have nobody to like, really give me the game on like, yo, you can really leave. Like, you don't gotta stay here, you don't gotta deal with this. And you know, like you said, you don't really know. So it's like, this is my first year, so I'm like, I gotta go through this. I'm young, like, everybody done went through this, I gotta go through this. I'm thinking this is everybody experience. Yo. When I tell no y'all, I was running, nah, no cap. That's cute. I literally was running late for practice one day. I ain't have no bottle of water. So I like, I was like, man, I gotta brush my teeth. Like, I can't go to practice without, like, so bomb. I had put it, I put it under the sink. Like, I turned the water on, just like that. I'm like, all right, I'm good. Pop, 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 pop. I'm out of there. Right, right I got a gum infection. <gasps> Yo. Oh Damn. my gosh, you I, I can't I make this song. I'm like, y'all think I'm bad. Bad. I'm bad. Serious. I'm dead serious. Like my gums was brown, like from just, just from a little just from bum. I promise you, like I turned bum like that. 
and then I brush my teeth. But you were showering in that water, like, right? It ain't in my mouth. No, you but I mean, like, shower. skin, I would think, too, like, damn. I like... guess my skin wasn't sensitive like that. <laughs> Have you, but you, have you had, so ever had, had to heat your water up? Yes. Yeah, yeah. but it was even worse because the, the showers only worked on occasion. <laughs> like, y'all think I'm capping, I promise you. I know. Like, the showers would not come on. Yeah. They literally had to, like, uh, reserve a, ba uh, uh, a room in a hospital. They had a bathroom. For all of us, not me. They literally got a bus. We can't, we had to go home, get our stuff. They put us all on the bus. And we had to take turns taking a shower at the hospital. Oh, that's wild. I can't make this Hell up. No. I no thought it was bad when I you had to heat my water season? up. No, I but I'm telling you, like, they took me to the dentist. I mean, yeah, but mind. that's what I'm saying. I didn't, like, they took me to the dentist. He gave me, like, some mouthwash and some little stuff that I had to, like, put around on my gums every day. <laughs> I can't make this so up, sorry. though. Like, like, I'm hey. serious. That was my, but that's why, like, after that, I was like, yo, I'm not going overseas no more. Like, that's why I don't really mess with like overseas, cause I'm like, yo, like you got some people who like, I love it, I, I want to travel. It. I do, I do though. You be like, it seems like you might struggle, mm. but it seems like you be chilling. I really there. like it. The only part I don't like is when you go to teams that don't pay. We talking about that yeah. stuff, but when I Besiktas, I was, I went to Besiktas and I was a rookie. Yeah. I was a rookie and I didn't have that like, was... you know, the W. I ain't have no money, so mm -hmm. I was like, who I'm about to make this? You know, oh, like yeah. I'm about to make this. I mean, I'm playing, I'm playing well, like. They gave me a little raggedy car, but I'm like, that's cool, just as long as y'all pay me. Mm -hmm. They was like, nobody's getting paid. Keep playing, keep playing. I'm like, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> How do you show up to work when you know you're not getting paid? The coach pulled me to the side and was like, nobody's getting paid. Why are you complaining? Yeah. They really be talking like that. Why are you complaining? Why like are you complaining? The team is good, good community. Like, why are you complaining? Because life? That's yeah. crazy. Because I have bills. Because I have bills. bills. I got bills. <laughs> because, I got because I have feed. bills. My first experience, my rookie season, Mine was with too. Besiktas in yeah. Turkey. And I had gotten hurt. Like, the first week I was there, the floors were so slippery. Terrible. I slipped, fell. I couldn't even walk. But they were like, no, you're going to play. So I'm playing thinking nothing's wrong. And like the next day, I can't even like, I'm waking up and I put my foot down, I oh, fell. God. Like I couldn't even walk. So I go to get an MRI, comes back. They're like, everything's fine. It's OK. Lying. You just need a few days. Lying. lying. I'm telling you, I'm playing games. And I'm like, something Something's is wrong. wrong. Like something is wrong with me. I'm not even able to walk after games. And so I finally snuck onto their computer. I broke onto the trainer's <laughs> computer. Imagine time. Looked at my file, and I was on FaceTime with my trainer from the Mystics. And I'm like, what is this? She's like, your hip labrum is torn. Oh, oh my god. So I have my hip labrum torn. They tell me I'm fine. They're forcing me to play. So I go to them. I'm like, bro, I'm leaving. Like, my hip labrum is torn. Meanwhile, I'm telling my agent she's not believing me because she's trying to keep her connection with yep, the team. That's how oh, it was that's dirty. How it Yo, that's so terrible. The president <laughs> of Besiktas brings me in his office, corners me in the office. Literally, I'm, my back is against the corner, and he's like, you're going to keep playing. You're not going home, and we're not paying you until you play. I was like, I don't know how y'all do shit here, but I'm about to fucking swing on you, bro. <laughs> like, I was, what you not finna do is put me in the corner. So my, like, coach was mad cool. He came in, he was like, you need to calm down to, like, the president. And my coach was like, they're gonna try to, like, do you dirty, so just go home. So as a rookie, I got no money. I'm coming home. They don't have to pay for shit. I watched my account drain it to zero dollars. My second year going in the league, I had to start brand new. Same, I was like that too. I will say, not every place is bad. Like, I know you played in Australia too. I had a cool ass time in Australia. Australia like, was smooth. Yeah, it was smooth. Yeah. There's no language barrier. The food is very similar. But like, I went to Jordan for a month this year. You look like you had a fun time. Bro, what? I loved it. I love my teammates. I love the culture. Like, they embraced us. And we went from like, them not supporting women in sport at all. Because again, like, the Middle East is a country that they don't necessarily like, always respect women, to we sold that thing out for the finals. Oh, like, it was awesome. really dope to Wherever see. Wherever Natasha Cloud is, a movement I mean, happens. No, not that, but they like, it was really, <laughs> really dope to see for real. So there are good experiences overseas, it's just. Yeah. How's the instability and unpredictability um, of being a, a player in general shaped who you are? I think what makes it so hard is not having your family. Because shit can happen here in the States, and you're like, I'm cool. Regardless, I got my people. They're always going to hold me down, and like, I'm going to be OK. But overseas, you can't speak the language half the time. You don't really know your surroundings, and you don't have your, your rock. You don't have that stability there. So like, 
mentally, emotionally, like it does fuck with you. Like uh, for me, at least it did. Like I was really sitting over there like in Turkey. I was like, man, my mama called me, but I'm so like, not even like depressed, but like I don't even want to be on the phone. I'm so used to being by myself now that like it's hard to socialize. So, but you got to do what you got to do for your check. I can piggyback off of that. For me, it's just like, it shaped me, like made me a stronger person, but like also like, I don't know, like we like cultured, but then at the same time, like we're alone so much. Mm -hmm. So it's like we come back and I feel like sometimes like I'm hard on my family because we get criticized so much. And it's just like, they're, my family's telling me like, you're so hard on us. Like, and I'm like, well, that's what we deal with. Get stronger, get tougher. <laughs> like, get strong, like be tougher. Like, but it's just like, we, we just become so, I don't say, I wouldn't say hard, but for me, it's just like, we, we get so used to our schedule. It's like, this is what I'm doing. Like, if it's nap time, hey, hey, hey. Like, yeah. like everybody is around us just has to kind of conform to that. But I don't know, just kind of, with me being injured the last couple years, like delving back into it, it's so hard. Mm -hmm. Like, because they're so used to you being gone. And then it's just like, you want that love from them. But it's just like, it's a, it's really hard to kind of balance it out for me because it's like, I left when my little cousin was nine years old and he's 18, you know what I mean? So it's like, you miss so much of little small intricate moments. And it's just like, you gotta tell them that it's a sacrifice, but then at the same time, it's just like, it's only a small window for some, some, some players, you know what I mean? You never know when your time is up. So it's like, do I not go play to like, not miss graduations this year or, do I go play to get this bag? You know, it's a, it's a toss up. And it's hard for me because it's just like, I feel like I'm this person that they don't fully know. You know what I mean? Like I've turned- you've been gone so long. Yeah, I'm gone all the time. And it's just like, I'm trying to tell them like, I don't do that no more. I was 22 when I left, I'm 33, you know? But it's just like, I learned different cultures. I learned to live on my own. I learned to feed myself. I learned to like mingle with people I never met. You know what I mean? And it's just like, I'm cool with that. So it's just like, you gotta give time to your family at the same time, but it's just hard to juggle for me. Like, cause I'm like, I still feel like they calling you like, even after this, it's like, hey, I got a job lined up. And I'm like, but I ain't, I wanted to spend time, you know, I had these vacations lined up. And then it's just like, now I'm like, oh, like I grew up poor. Like I ain't had no money. Like we ain't had no food. Like, and so I'm just like, I'm not, that's why I say extremists. I'm like, money, like I can go make money. Like I ain't had no food some weeks. My mom was on disability, you know what I mean? So it's just like, I ain't never living like that again. Like <clears throat> I'm never living like house to house. I'm never worrying about if my, my clothes fit. I'm not doing that no more. So for me, it's just so much that goes into it for me. I'm just like, I'm trying to make a way for y'all so y'all can live easier. Understand the sacrifice, you know? Yeah. But all they wanted is your time, and it's like, I'm trying to balance just, it both. It's just, for me, it's just, it's an emotional conversation because it's just like, y'all ain't broke no more because I'm working, you know what I mean? But it's just like, but you never hear. And then you get put on into this, this position in your family, and this is like, I don't want that role. Like, you know what I mean? I want, I want y'all to love me, but it's just like, can we please exclude money? Like, I'm a person, you know what I mean? Like, I want to love y'all, you know what I mean? But they like, we don't know you, like you ain't been here, like tell us about yourself, but yeah. But provide for me though. At yeah. the same time, yeah. like but it's, it's so hard. You know, with Courtney, like I know some of your family and, and so. just knowing that like you love, you love the ball. That's so. what you, you just love the ball. And then you love taking care of your family. So can you talk so. to me about your family and their involvement and you know, your perspective of that? Yeah, I mean, I bring my family with me. My daddy came with me overseas. You know what I'm saying? He said he felt like he was in the halfway equal house. Trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Just equal trouble. Just equal trouble. I love it. Just, hey, but some people nah, don't want to be Nah, One yeah, thing about Tony, he's going to show up. He, really, <laughs> he pulled up. Because, you know, when you hit overseas, you think, oh, I'm finna see all this lavish. I'm like, daddy, you going to see. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't like what you think when you looking on Instagram and all that. He was like, Nah, we gonna be smooth, we gonna, I'm like, all right, man, come on, we good. Come on, we good. He came over there. <laughs> hey, man, what's wrong? What's wrong with the Wi-Fi? I said, we both can't be on it at the same time. <laughs> we both can't be on it at the same time. You, we gotta take turns on this Wi-Fi. Like, you feel me, there's a lot going on. But nah, he came, <laughs> he came for a minute. Been with that, okay. Nah. Once he came, once he went home, he was like, boy, I felt like I was in the halfway house. I had to, he was like, boy, caught on. I kissed the ground when I he got said, back to the house. No. Uh, 
Like, well, I'm still stuck here. Nah, <laughs> for real. But it's smooth, though, because I feel like <laughs> it was just good for him to, like, see what I go through when yeah. I go out there. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But, I mean, it's smooth. You know, I, like, I always make time for my family. So, like, when I come home, I always try to, like, you know, turn my people up. We're going to go to the club. Or, like, when I like when I leave here, I'm taking them to Disney World. Like, yeah, so I always make it my business to, like, do something, like, something, like, big for them. You know what I mean? And, I, you know, I do the same, you know, toss money here and there, make sure everybody's straight. So Tell was saying how you said you wanted to use your major. Yeah. So my experience in Spain, it was sweet, but I did end up leaving early. Mm -hmm. So I went over there, and some just kept telling me, like, go home, go home, go home. My parents, they were saying, stay, get your money. You know, it's your first year. But some told me, go home. So I left. So once I left, I never heard from my agent again. Like, never heard from him. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like Tosh, but like Tosh was saying, it's those connections that they have with those teams. And if you met, like, if I leave, I'm messing his bag up too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I never heard from him. So I ended up firing him or whatever. But I came home, and like two days later, my grandma, my mom took my grandma to the doctor, just regular checkup. And they was like, ma'am, you were in stage three cancer. Like, didn't even know, all right? So. I end up having, my mom, she owns her own AU team. She got her own facility, two, two basketball court, like mental health um, businesses. Like, I end up having to take care of all of that at 23. I got two brothers, 14, 17. My, my stepdad, he worked. So I'm taking over businesses. I'm taking care of my brothers, with my mom, dealing with her mom, all of that. And all because I listened to myself just come home. I don't know what it was. It was just telling me, like, come home. So. I took a year off basketball doing all of that. So how special AU is to me is like crazy because I messed up overseas. Well, in, in somebody else, I was leaving. You know what I'm saying? And then for to have this opportunity was like big. Like I ended up hiring another agent who cared about me off the court. Like I was telling Telly earlier, I was like, I never wanted to play in the league and then go overseas when it's off season. Like I always wanted to play in the league and then when it's off season, I want to tap into what I went to school for. I ain't never been big on school, but you know, I made it do what it do. I got my masters. So I wanna I wanna use I wanna use that. Like it was hard getting it. So I'm into like product management, I'm into um, like gear and stuff like that. So I wanna work on like different circuits like EYBL or like the Adidas circuit. I wanna create whatever the kids wearing this year for the circuit or you know, just Different programs, everything to do with like product management, stuff like that. So my agent, he's been setting up things for me to do in that off season. So that's dope. Um, and you seem that's very so mature. Like, yeah. Twenty four. I'm like, you got your head on straight. Wow. I was like, it's it's good. Good. just yeah. even in your conversation, yeah, like that's what's up. Like, Cause girl, when I was your age, <laughs> right, I was a dude. <laughs> Good, yeah. That's what's up. Like that. How were you able to take on that weight? And then why did you come back to basketball? It was, it was tough. I mean, I don't know if y'all got brothers, but 17-year-old brother, he out here trying to do everything. 14-year-old brother, he out here trying to do what he doing. <laughs> so, I mean, dealing with that and then running an AU program, I'm just using whatever I've seen in college. All right, how I dobo treat the teams. All right, well. I'm doing a social media. Like, if I was to show y'all social media page, it's just like what we had in college. Like, scores. Like, I'm teaching myself, watching YouTube videos, like, trying to get them exposure, just doing everything. I'm creating graphics, blah, so blah, blah. Too. Yeah, okay. and we're in COVID, so I'm watching YouTube videos, how to cut my brother's hair. Like, I'm just that's totally, that's like, so turned into, yeah. like, every hat possible. Yeah. Like, just trying to yeah. take care of the fam, yeah, that's, so. That's, that's, that's very yeah. commendable. Nah, yeah. thanks. It is. Good for you. I'm just like, I'm like, let's process this. I'm like, I was talking to her. I'm like, she's so mature. Because not even being funny, like, at tryouts, like, there was only, like, a few that really stood out that we was like, no, they can run with us. And I remember being like, hey, yo, who is she? Like, she can play. She can play. And they were like, I know, we really like her. And I remember coming up to you, and I was like, Dog, I'm fighting for you behind the scenes. Like, they just want to see consistency, but they need you to score. Like, they need you to be aggressive. You ain't out here for, like, 
you know, to make everyone else better. Like, this your time for just your moment. And when I tell you this girl turned up, mm -hmm. I mean, murking people, like, so on both ends of the court. So, like, hearing your story now, I'm like, man. But even That's with really your mentality, special. like, you're going to go far. Like, yeah. a lot of players don't have that, like, maturity young. I always try to get young players, like, do, like, do this. Like, try to make sure you got your 401k set up. I'm like, I feel like yeah. I wouldn't even have to tell you, like, you, I feel like you have, you're on a straight and narrow. Like, you got a bright future, regardless of, like, what you decide to do. Your identity seems solid. So I'm going to go around. I want you all to tell me, like, your identity outside of basketball. Because we know y'all as the basketball players. Like, I truly believe what you put into the world, it will always give back to you. Like, I believe if you do things the right way and out of the kindness and goodness of your heart, like, God will always provide. When one door closes another, like, you closed your Spain chapter and then another door opened for you, you know, in AU. And I feel like me, I'm goofy, I'm a small town kid. Um, I love my family, um, and I'm gonna always make sure everyone's good. Like, if you my people, I'm gonna always make sure you're good. Um, so that's just, yeah. That's gonna be thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm the same. Like, I've always just been a person that tries to bring groups together. I don't know why certain narratives have been wrote, like, written, like, I, because I'm not very vocal. Like, I gravitate towards people that seem like they have had a hard time, like, on different teams. Like, I don't gravitate towards a star. Like, I gravitate towards somebody that's more quiet so that, because I feel like I haven't been seen, you know what I mean? So, and I'm not bitter about it, but, I just, I just love camaraderie. Like, I like people to be together. Like, if you go back and look at all of my college interviews, like, I always toss the hat. Like, mm -hmm. I never, I'm okay with being, like, in the background, you know what I mean, left to center. Like, but it's just those moments where I feel like I can see the team coming together is what, what are my championships, you know what I mean? People talk about, like, actual chips and, like, winning trophies, but for me, it's, like, the small things for me. Like, if everybody happy, if everybody good, we all can get along. Like, then I'm like, that's when I'm in my element. And, that's all I'm about. Like, it's passing the torch to people who I feel like can come in and just make a mark on people's lives, like like how she is. I would I would gravitate towards her, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because I'm like, you have your head on straight. You know, mm -hmm. some people come in places arrogant. People come in like they know everything. When we None of us know everything, you know what I mean? So my ultimate goal is for everybody to be good, everybody to be happy. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, I think my identity used to be just turnt and not really care what yeah, nobody, yeah. yeah, just turn and not really care what nobody really got to say about me. I'm gonna say what I want, I'm gonna do what I want, I'm a club, I'm gonna date who I want, like, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like my identity now is more like growth and being more mindful. Cause I think like, I was at a point where I really just didn't care. Like I didn't care what nobody said, like, I'm a rock, like, I mean, even like, you know, not to throw my business out there, but even with just the fighting situation, it's like, I didn't care. Like, you know, I'm I'm gonna do what I do. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know how I grew up. You know what I'm saying? That was always my mentality. Like, I, this how I grew up. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that ain't nothing to me. Like, that ain't nothing. Like, I, big I deal. It's not a big it's deal. It's not a big deal. You know what I'm saying? I call, I'm calling my pops and my mom and them, and they just like, well, you good? Everybody good? You know what I'm saying? And that shit, it's, it's, under the, it's brushing under the rug like that shit. You know what I'm saying? But I think, like, understanding that I am on a platform and being more mindful of just the things that I put into the world because, you know, with that situation, I had to understand that, like, like once you put it out there, you can't get it back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then once you do put it out there, you give everybody this leeway to create all these narratives, yeah, 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 yeah. all these narratives of who they think I am, of how, and, and like I said, I can eat that. I can take that on the chin when you talk about me, but I guess I didn't realize that I had done got to a certain point in my career to where now it's like, it don't just affect me. You know what I'm saying? It's now it's people speaking on how my mom and my daddy raised me. Now it's people speaking on my relationship and how that's a, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it took me to a place to where I had to understand, like, I can't just be out here running rampant, just not caring. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, like, I can do what I want. I can stay turned, I can stay lit, you know what I'm saying? But I don't always have to, Post everything, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's hard it's too when we in real. when like our generation, you make money off your social it's media. Real. You and I was getting, part. I was making you money. Oh, we know. You know how many ads we had a witness nah, between the stories. Like, I don't think y'all understand. Like I was really getting paid, so it's like 
And I'm talking about getting paid to the point I didn't have to go overseas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm just jotting down content. Okay, content, content. Okay, what we, what we gonna talk about? Oh, that's a great story. That's a great story time. Oh my God, we did that. That's a great. So we writing down all this content, not even thinking, oh, this might make you look bad, Court. You know what I'm saying? Because in our head, we like, that's a great story to tell. Like, people going to love that. That's going to be entertaining. Like, you know what I'm saying? But again, like, just not even understanding, like, you know, this does leave some type of space for people to take X, Y, and Z and create this narrative of who they think I am and who they think we are together. I just wish yeah. more people could think like me because I'm like, I don't judge people no. based on stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like, because you know, I, do. I, I feel like why I rock with you so much is because you're authentically yourself. Because of that. Like, because of that. Yeah. like from the job, I'm like, like, like I really, I but really. Have people that but that's, have this but you know why? It's because like y'all don't actually been in my energy. Yeah. We talking about these folks that ain't never really been around. But that's the level of maturity though in the world. Like I, I don't really know her. It yeah. is. But there, I just we only give you glimpses of what we want you to see. But y'all understand that's the world that we live in because now so that's immature. affecting jobs. Now that's affecting my, like I lost I lost paper. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm just putting that out there. Like I lost like six figure contracts based off of just people creating that narrative of what they thought we was doing or what they thought we was promoting. Courtney, in that. How do you avoid resentment toward the people who you thought were supporters or fans? Especially coming from somebody who's so confidently herself. Yeah, uh, I mean I think uh it is resentment. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm not even... I mean, hey, you didn't avoid it. So that's the answer. Yeah, if you didn't you know, know what I'm saying? Like, it is because I feel like when I went through that, a lot of folks ain't... Like, a lot of folks ain't mess with me. And, like, after that, like, that altercation situation, I became everybody worse. I became everybody worse basketball player. You're a fan favorite. I really became everybody worse basketball player. You know, we talked about it, and I was like... I never want you to apo apologize for something that you felt you had to do. Yeah. I never wanted, like, I, you know, I'm gonna put it out. I'm from North Carolina, so if my people scrap, I'm, you know, I, I got too much to lose now, but I'm jumping in there too. So like, I, yeah. I was more on the side of like, okay. What you so wanted I, to do, get like, beat what, up? Exactly, like, and so. But I think it was more it was of more just than, putting it out yeah, there. Yeah, putting it out there, yeah. self yeah. yeah. the yeah. after yeah. that. But that you know what, because we all were like, we kind of knew. Yeah. Which we knew. Yeah. Like, yeah. But, I think the thing was, was because it was, everybody created this idea that Oh, she just prosecuted herself. Self-incrimination. Yeah, self-incrimination. But what people didn't understand is that I told the team right after it happened. You know what I'm saying? So I, I put everything on the table. You know what I mean? But it, it came back that they didn't relay that to the W. You know what I'm saying? So it hit me back in my mouth, which, again, I got to take a lot of that because... it's, it's I, I was proud of you because it's the accountability. And you felt it and you realized it. But... What would you say? I mean, you don't have to explain yourself to nobody. We know that. Sure. But Can we respect people's it, differences? Yeah. yeah. What would you say to somebody who's like looking at you still kind of like, mm. I mean, I think, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, I, I, I think I would just say, you know, uh, like, yeah, we on a platform, but we still people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, like, like, we can't just, because we are who we are, just let somebody come hit me in my mouth and I just be like, oh, well. You know, let me just walk away. You know what I mean? So I think it has to be, like, we people have to understand that I'm still a human being. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I go, I, I go to the club all the time. You know what I mean? And this was one of the first situations that I ever got into an altercation ever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like I'm just out here just looking for trouble. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I think what I would say is, again, you, like, be mindful of every narrative. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, like, I do, like, I am on a platform. I am somebody that people know. You know what I mean? So I can't move the same way, like, a famous YouTuber can move because all content, all publicity is good publicity for them. You know what I mean? But all publicity, not good publicity for us because we lose money yeah. off of certain publicity. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, I have to, or I had to understand, like, you know what, like, I have to take a step back, and I have to not only rebrand myself, and it's not still being myself, yeah. obviously. You can't be nothing else, Courtney. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> but it's just that I have to now be more mindful of, like, you know, like, I can't, I can't just put any and everything out into the world because, 
Yeah, because at the end of the day, it's like, like you said, I still got people that's eating off of me. And I'm and I lost bread off of that, you know what I'm saying? I lost a lot of bread off of that. You know what I mean? All because, you know, I just wanted to be super duper transparent. I said your life and y'all's all of y'all's humanity is worth way more than likes, retweets, and engagement. Yeah. Y'all don't get you you had you had to deal with that yourself. <laughs> you had to bite the bullet and deal with because if you're gonna put it out, you you could have either made a bag from it or lost the bag from it. Right. And we see what direction it went. Right. And we've learned, and we've moved on. And what, what you don't need to do is put yourself out there when you haven't fully really, like, if you don't know how to communicate what you exactly want to say. So I'm proud of you, and it's called growth, and I'm glad that you have the confidence, and I'm glad, I'm glad you have a good tribe around you to keep you grounded. But anyway, reeling it back in um, with joy and things of basketball. Um, also comes pain, and we've we've seen the emotional pain that you've been through. We've seen, you know, the growing pains that you've been through. So I want to know, in general, how do you pe play through pain? Basketball has always been my oasis. Like life happens, real shit happens, and you're gonna go through pain, and you're gonna go through like really rough patches. But being able to step across those lines and like that's where I let out all that vulnerability, all that anger, all that hurt, whatever it is. Like, and then being around a really good team, like all right, I'm surrounded right by really good people. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like this is my safe space, but basketball's always been there for me, like, just my getaway. Yeah. Uh, Todd? I think for me, I just recently learned how to, like, talk about what I'm going through. I think a lot of us struggle with that. Like, I can tell y'all strong-oriented people, y'all like to keep things, and you don't want to put too much of your stuff on other people, but I think I learned over the years how to, like, really talk to somebody. Like, my mom... I grew up with just me and my mom. Like, my dad, I call my dad now, is my stepdad. So I feel like if anybody ever been through that, yeah, that's your stepdad, but he'll never, you know, like, my seed, you know, he's somewhere, you know, that's my dad. Like, I always think about, you know, there's so many similarities I might have with this man that, you know, I'll never have with my stepdad, even though that's my stepdad. So I talk to my mom sometimes over the years, but that void that I was missing resulted in me, like, keeping everything in. So when I got to college, I had met this dude named Brad. He was a, a psychologist at Georgia. And I don't know what it was. It was that voice again. It was like, just try it. Just go talk to him. And I was what, 19 then. I'm 24. And me and Brad on the game, we still talk to this day about everything. Um, so, I'm like, telling you. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. Like, so I would, I would just encourage people like talk to people. Because holding it in, I don't know about y'all, but not a lot of people can play mad. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't play stress. You can't, you can't play like that. You can't perform at your best. So I would just say, like, learning to talk. Okay, I love that. That's good. And tell you, you're, you're a super vet. Like, what are ways you've coped? Yeah. I mean, yeah. honestly, it's crazy. It's that, right. Chill. We gonna keep throwing out Chill. my age. Though. Chill. Chill. We gonna keep throwing out my age. It's cool though. <laughs> But for me, I just feel like I've, I mean, a lot of, I don't really carry my pain on my shoulders. Like, I feel like I've had to be a lot stronger in a lot of instances because I don't really have that fallback like everybody. Like, I don't have like a, like a strong system. Like, I had to learn a lot on my own. Like, I was working since I've been 13 years old. I worked at eight to four. Like, I, people don't know a lot about me, but I just was always trying to find my own way, like, and just learn so I could be a better human. Like, I saw a lot of bad examples, you know what I mean? So. I just always saw stuff, I'm like, I don't want to be like that. Um, I can't say that my pain has stopped in basketball, you know what I mean? I haven't had an easy rap, you know what I mean? I feel like I've, um, I've fought with like a ton of bricks on my back, like I feel like I'm still here, but at the same time, like I, I don't have a therapist, you know what I mean? I feel like I have this strength when I think I do need to be a little bit more vulnerable in some instances because it's just like, I don't really have that fallback like that. Like I don't have like, um, I just feel like I've just been around a lot of not good people, you know what I mean? Like, and I just try to give my energy, give as much as I can. Like, I'm a firm believer in, like, being your whole self, no matter what. Like, if you be your whole self, people gonna show you who they are, you know what I mean? Like, and you can walk away and say, I was my whole self. Like, I gave you everything. And for me, it's like, I, I see a lot. Like, I don't know how much good it is, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, you know, they'll be with you when you up. You know what I mean? And when you down, you see people's true colors. And for me, 
I had my first experience real down, you know what I mean? Like I tell people, I got to, I was 260 pounds last January and I worked my ass off, you know what I mean? And you don't nobody called me when I was injured. Nobody asked me like, how you doing, tell? Nobody was there for me. I did all of it alone. But then you go and you up and you got tons of people with you. Like when stuff is fun and you it's at the club and, and you kicking it and everything is fun, but like you really, shit hit the fan when you really going through something. I'm talking like if you just need somebody to talk to, if you if you need people to whatever. Like, I always say, like, in this league, like, I've, I've been teammates with a lot of people, but I don't think a lot of people know me, and I don't really know intricate details about other people, but that's why I rock with this league, because I never even did nothing like this mm -hmm. to even be able to have a conversation about anything about myself. Like, I'm next year is my 12th season in the league, and I don't think anybody has talked to me about anything I've ever gone through. You know what I mean? You hear from the same people all the time. You know what I mean? For me, I'm just like, a lot of us got stories, dog. Like, we don't gotta be WNBA Finals MVP to hear from people, WNBA All-Star MVP to hear from these dogs. You know what I mean? It's oh. dogs in this league. Like, and I think we should, we should hear from more people. Like, but I don't know. I'm just like, when is, it, when is time enough time? to be locked in to, to say, I'm, I'm ready to hear from you. Like, what's your, what's your story? Because you didn't put in that work. You got a decade in this league, you know what I mean? Like, I respect whatever you done did to get this far, because a lot of people don't, you know what I mean? And for me, that's what I want to push. Like, talk to everybody, you know what I mean? Like, everybody has something so compelling and so deep, I feel like that can help so many people in this world, you know what I mean? I love when you talk about like hearing people's stories because like even if it's not me, it's just like let's push other people. Let's hear from these people who got stories. We know everything about some players. I mean, yeah. we know the ins and outs of certain <laughs> players. We know everything about them and that's no shade. We know everything. Like. We, we see him all the time. Like, what about some of these ones that's, like, at the end of the bench? Like, not me, but it's just, like, ask her a question. Like, ask her how she doing. Ask her how she feels. Like, yeah, she's not about to be a superstar in this finals, but everybody can matter. We all can fit into this realm of this world and, and win. But I rock with AU, and I want to say that because, for me, it's like, I don't get asked how I'm doing. I don't get asked how I feel. I don't get, I'm the background player. I'm the blue collar worker in the league. You know what I mean? And I'm going to work my ass off all the time. But people don't ask a, a lot of players certain things. We hear from the same ones. And it's no shade, because they are great. Like, we all are, because there's only 144 of us. But it's just like some credit got to be give, divvied out. For me, that's what it is about. You know what I mean? And that's why I think AU is going to take off, because already it's like, tell me your story. Well, I'm going to take a moment, yo, and give you your flowers. Yeah, oh, wow, yeah. real talk. Yeah. Real talk. Yeah. Nah, because I think it's, in, I think it's important, because like you said, like, you need to hear from other people mm -hmm. that do what you do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We all do it at a high level, and I think, like you said, like, you've been doing this for a long time. You know what I mean? And I think, like, to even hear you, I ain't never heard you talk. No. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I've never I'm heard you talk. I'm sitting here, like, literally interested yeah. in every word you got to say. And I think no, it's I mean, dope. Days, yeah, like, no, nah, but I, I think it's important. You know what I mean? The fact that you do have a voice and you using your voice and you getting it all out. And I want you to keep getting it out. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> You're not going to wear it. This is your space. Nah, yeah. I want you to keep getting it out because I think it's important, like, your journey. Like, even, like, all of us, even just hearing the young bull talk, it's like, it's important, you know what I mean? Because I, I just soaked in so much just hearing you talk, you know what I mean? Like, And I know like that that's going to stick with me, you know what I mean? And I want you to continue to keep having that voice, even when you do go back to the league. Like, have a voice, man. Don't let them folks quiet you. Yeah, you can be blue collar. Yeah, you can be in the background, but you're important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, and go back to the Ohio State days yeah. before your 12th oh, yeah. year, your career in LA. Remember, I'm like, okay, like I ain't, you know, y'all. No. no, we can do that. But you, no, but you, you gonna no, take no, it? You gonna no. take it? For real, you yeah. sitting here talking though, and I'm like, by the time we are done, she gonna know that she got a family here yeah. Yeah. you because yeah. she ain't never been my teammate. But I'm gonna hold you down regardless yeah. if you you oh, want it or not. I'm yeah. gonna. In my head, I'm like, I'm going to be in her room every day. You <laughs> <laughs> going to meet me. Yeah. you going to knock I'm someone such here for you. I'm such a strong armor, too, though. You know, like, I'm going like, to knock that bitch down. <laughs> <laughs> I done called her, like, four times. <laughs> <laughs> I, we I, done made it. I, I, I called her, like, four times. <laughs>
I'm like, Jantella, the sick of me card, I got her number two. Like, she's gonna be sick of me. I'm gonna be sick of me. I'm like, Jantella, the sick of me. We appreciate you, you know. We do what we can to appreciate you. And I want you to keep going because you have players like Taj looking at you. Who, ha who have the aspirations to have a long career. You have Courtney, who's like right in the middle of her career. And, and looking she's, at you. And she's, look <laughs> she's looking at you like, you about to be best friends. You have to talk to me. She just threw with us on the arm. Who's, who's, who's literally, quite literally jumped herself in front of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally, no, but God, like, still looking at you. when you have, you know, a rookie and, and somebody who had to leave basketball and come back and we're all at this table and we're sharing this space and you're like, I don't want to keep talking. I'm like, we're like, keep talking. Keep because talking. Because you have, you have these words. Like, take, that, like, take all the time you need because that's what this is here for. And I, and the, what I hate is to see you guys perform for um, a society who doesn't see your humanity. So that's what we're all here for. And... When my question says, "Have you? When have you played through pain?" and I see it, like I'm gonna cry because I'm a Pisces and that's what we do. Um, but um, <laughs> but there's so much. But there's so much pain that I heard in your voice that I, I want you to be able to just release at this table. You can still you can still carry it because if it's if it's incentive for you. But I'm just letting you know that this is a safe space, at least amongst the five no, of us at this it. table. Like, this is love here. Okay. Like, I, even before I talked, I felt that. But I'm just like, like, I try to be like, people call me nonchalant. But I'm just like, if you knew what I've been through, like, literally, like, from the moment I came out the womb, like, you would be like, man, how she's standing there. You know what I mean? Like, I don't see how she's standing there. I'm like, I told you, like, 12, 13 years old, I did not have a summer. Like, I was working eight to four every day. Like every summer, like, to make money, to make sure I wasn't flooding. As funny as it sounds, like, my clothes was too small, you know what I mean? So it's just, like, I just always had to figure it out, like, and I feel like everything, I'm like, I'm going to figure it out, like, And you it's do, hard. and you continue to. Look yeah, at it's it, hard look right at now, like, and I love hard, like, I hold on to relationships a lot of times that maybe not be fruitful for me, like, that, you know what I mean? Like, but I don't want to give up on people because people have given up on me, you know what I mean? So... I don't know, I'm just big on fairness, you know what I mean? I don't care if everything y'all heard today is just fairness. Like, give people their flowers. And that's why I'm like, even if I don't get mine, because I haven't, you know? Give people their flowers when they deserve them. People are working their ass off to just simply claw and fight to be 11, 12, 10, 11, 12 on rosters. And it's just like, no, like, give people their flowers. That's it. Like, I love fairness. It. I love it. And I hear you advocating for that, right? Mm -hmm. I hear you advocating for them. Um, for you three. Um, how do you advocate for yourself? Ooh, very good. I think I'll be myself. You know what I mean? I think, uh, you know, a lot of people going to say that about me. Court is court. You know what I mean? Like, you are. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to talk the way I talk. I'm going to move the way I move. I'm going to stay lit. Believe it. I'm going to stay lit. You know what I mean? And I think that that's important, just being yourself, no matter whether it puts you in position or not. Because sometimes I'm not put into a position because they know, like, I'm not folding on myself. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to change. I'm not putting back on no wig. You me? I'm not putting the, not put, I'm not putting the, I'm not putting the bundles back in. I'm not putting the bundles back in. They was flowing. They was flowing. I mean, if you had a person who could do both, like, you could do both. Like, Believe it. But I'm just saying, like... <laughs> I'm just saying, I think for me, just, just being myself, you know, because I think, like she said, like, I know when I walk in a room, when I leave that room, they're going to be like, damn, like, shorty herself. You know what I'm saying? Like, shorty had good energy, and she, like, she herself. You know what I mean? Like, and that's if I'm in a room with millionaires, and that's if I'm in a room with my partners that stand on the corner. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be the same. Like, I'm going to talk to them the same way. You know, if people going to rock with you, they going to rock with you. They not, like... I, like, don't get the way I talk confused. I got a degree, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to talk numbers, we can talk numbers. I'm going to still talk the same way. But now you're going to understand it's still intellect behind, like, you know what I'm saying, what I'm talking about. Because I can sit around this table with anybody, and we can talk numbers. We can talk business. We can talk whatever. You know what I mean? I think it's important. Just be yourself, like, because guess what? When we start talking that business talk, I'm going to talk the same way, but you're going to understand I'm still business-minded. You see what I'm saying? Like, when you want to talk numbers, when we're talking contracts, we're going to talk these numbers. 
Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But I'm still gonna talk the same way. I'm just gonna tell you that number got me fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel me? But I think we all are different. We all like come from different places. We all are ourselves in different ways, and I don't think that it should be looked at in a negative kind of shape. Like it's I like, think it's a beautiful yeah. thing. Yeah. And it's, and it's like I think thing. once everybody understand that, and like you said, just stop judging people stop and judging understand people. like, like. We all human. We all fighting our own battles every day. And there's you know no what I mean? script to life. It ain't no Ever. script to it. We all learn it every day. So all in all, be a show. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Be a show, <laughs> man. Just be a show. <laughs> a lot of times people try to put this label of role model on you. Um, do you like it? Uh, it's for me, it, it was a thing of like, I felt a lot of pressure my first few years in the league to like be a role model. There's a lot of eyes on us. There's eyes on us all the time, no matter what we tweet, no matter what we post, no matter what we say and do, like people will try to create their own narratives or twist your words around. So I stayed out my first few years, like my first three years, I didn't really say anything. I was just kind of like that mid-major. I'm just trying to make it. I'm trying to keep my job. It's hard to get into this league. It's even harder to stay in this league. But I feel like once I signed my big contract with DC and I knew that was like home for me, like I was like, I need to use this platform. And so I'm turning that microscope that I felt like was on me for three years, I'm turning it into a microphone. And I'm gonna utilize it in that way and I'm gonna use this platform that God gave me to speak on a community that looks like me, on shit that people identify with the same stuff as me, you know what I mean? And then kind of going into my relationship too, like we have been more vocal the last year or so, but I think that just comes with like us growing in our relationship and solidifying it and being married and uh, her being an AU champ and her coming into herself. Cause she's, my wife's younger, she's 25, I'm 29. So she's still trying to figure out who she is and who her voice is. And so I think you're just seeing us both grow and progress and um, it's a beautiful thing, and I'm happy to be, right. I'm happy to be doing it though, because it can be hard dating another athlete, especially one that plays the same time as you. Like, we've gone through our struggles, we figured it out, but you have to actively choose your person every single day when you wake Ooh. up. And so, Girl, yeah. say that. <laughs> and I was like, say uh, you that. have to actively. So, Man, wow. I feel like I've grown a lot in the last few years, and just like being comfortable with who I am as like Tosh. I think when like, I learned to love myself completely, I was able to love her, and I'm able to love other people because at the end of the day, I'm like, I'm proud of who I am. I just yeah. love everything about that. Man, I love yeah. Okay, friends. Yeah. Okay, yeah. friends. Like, that was just everything. Yes. Because like, so many people don't recognize that growth. Like, yeah. people come and stay stuck. Like, you have to be able to evolve with people when you date them, you have, know? Man, because you're, you're either going to grow together or we're going to yeah. grow apart. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. All it is. It's like, you have to grow. You have you know, to. Like, you know, at the same time. And you have to same. allow your partner to grow. Yeah. Because I feel like there was a certain point where I was like, Wait, but I'm comfortable. I like where we at, but I'm like, but you need to thrive, and I need to support you in whatever it is, whether you want to go into your clothing brand, whether you want to go be the GOAT of AU and win. Like, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there when you win. I'm going to be there when you lose, but I'm going to be there regardless. And that's what a partner, you know, that's what your partner's supposed to do. Yeah. I mean, that's awesome. I love it. I love love, so I'm always like, let me hear y'all's story. <laughs> and, and Taj, you're younger, so yeah. how are you able to step into Because you are a role model to many people. Mm -hmm. And you, I mean, shoot, after the day, you're a role model to me, so. I'm telling you. <laughs> How are you able to step into that position? Well, when I was back at home, I was actually coaching too. So I was coaching on the AU circuit. Mm -hmm. So you dealing with players that's 16, 17, 18. We not that far in age. So they looking at me as when I'm away from home, that's Todd's. When I am home, they so comfortable with me. We cool, we talking, blah, blah, blah. So I had to learn how to separate all right, this coach this is Todd's, this is the role model when I'm not home, this is older sister, blah, blah, blah. Like, so I really learned, I, I mean, I went through a couple of things where I shouldn't have maybe did things this way, or I shouldn't have probably talked to this kid that way. Like, learning, like, when I, when I coach, I'm passionate, so I might say a few curse words here and there. My mom like, you can't talk to 
Jennifer like that. Like, you just, <laughs> you can't, you know, like, and, oh, but that's all I know. That's, that's all I know. That's where I've been coached growing up. My uncles, my dad, I get to college, like, all my coaches, that's the way they talk. So I just had to learn how to really, honestly, be a role model, especially when you're not that far in age from these kids and the generation. And I had to learn that the generation below me definitely ain't nothing like y'all. What you they, mean? No, just just from like I'm a just I'm just like I'm from a, a dog, like a dog, like a dog mentality. Like this generation is just so soft. Like it's the only way I can I can put it. And I don't, I'm not saying that to like hurt anybody, any, any of the kids. Like it's it's just different. It's way different. Like y'all talk about being dogs. Like nobody, they're not like that. Gentle as you. Look at these players who are younger than you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what advice would you give them to have a career like yours? Um, I think they're on the right path. Like, I, like I said, they, they dogs to me. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't get a, a, a chance to tell players in the league a lot of the times because we play against them so much. But I think that they are phenomenal. Even with, with me working with you yesterday, uh, two days ago. I was like, y'all can play. Like, I love how y'all games have evolved. Like, the things you're doing in the community, like court. Like, I like your individuality. Like, I love it. But I think you a dog on the court. You know what I mean? So I like watching y'all. Like, I love your temperament. Like, even with us talking about how when you start smiling. Like, I love. I'll like, be like, like damn, y'all I'm pissed off. That's when you know she pissed <laughs> off. Like, you know what I mean? I like, like, learning <laughs> little things about players. Like, oh, she in her bag. Now she's starting to smile. Like, you know what I mean? But I just, I would tell them, like, just. Stay true, true to who you are. Like, always be a good person first. You know what I mean? But bring people along. Like, if you can teach a young player something, which I know y'all doing, but teach them something. Like, like pass the torch. Like, give it to kids, because we're not going to do this forever. You know what I mean? Like, bring somebody else up. Like, even if you in a position where you down, because I was injured last year, and it was my goal. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to help somebody. I'm going to help somebody. Like, I'm low. Like, I'm real low, but, like, it's not, it's not about you, it's about that next generation that you were talking about. And it's like always giving a hand, like reaching back, I'm big on that. Like give something to somebody that you didn't get, you know what I mean? And for me, it's, if it's just me taking you around to help you get your groceries, like help somebody, you know what I mean? And you'll always get what you deserve, you know? I don't know, like how you said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure it out. Life is gonna come to me the way it's supposed to. And I felt the same way about everything in my life. like. Just give back to somebody. Like, always give something to somebody, and what's for you will never pass you by. And that's real. Sure. And tonight we talked about overseas experiences was craziness. You, you talked about, you know, just trying to get a bag for your family and how your family has viewed you and, and just the, the ostracization of, you know, fans who don't understand you. So how do you find the joy in all this chaos? And I want everybody to answer this. Sometimes it's harder than others. Um, that's real. Like, life is real. You go through a lot of shit that you're going to go through ebbs and flows. But at the end of the day, I think we all would agree we're very blessed. Like, I'm so blessed to be able to play this game for a living, to be able to provide for my family playing this game that has given me so much. It's given me a free education. It's taken me around the world to different cultures. I've created really strong relationships and bonds that like will go on for the rest of my life. Like, it's a blessing. So yeah, shit can get crazy, but like, I always come back to like I'm blessed and I'm thankful and I'm grateful. So yeah, I always go back to my why and listening know to your why, girl. It's think, tattooed I on think my arm. Everybody at this table got a why. Yes. Yes. And I think that's what's probably been keeping all of them motivated is just their why, whether that's family whether that's saying I'm not going to be this way or whether that's saying I'm trying to, I'm really trying to build something for generations. Like, just having that why, that's what always kept me going. I ain't tell y'all, but I lost my sister. She was 23 doing childbirth. So she, she gave birth to my nephew, and the day she was supposed to come home, she passed away. They ended up finding, like, a blood clot in her, uh, her chest or whatever. So um, you'll see 10, 10, 10 on my shoes. You know, she died October 10th, 2010. That's definitely my why. You know, I lived through her. I learned to care about others through her. Like, that's all, I mean, her name Kobe. That's all she did was, well, that's why I named my dog Mamba. You know, everybody think, you know, but yeah, just being selfless like her. Um, so my sister, my family, um, you know, if you look at my resume and you think I'm supposed to be in the W, you know, McDonald's All-American, Jordan Brand Classic MVP, like 
all of that stuff, but why? Why am I not there? I don't ever question it. I just continue to put others first. I continue to work hard, um, all of that. And opportunities just keep coming. That's why I feel like I'm going sure. to get there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to get there. Hey, yeah. yeah. when you get your foot in the door, <laughs> go crazy. Yeah. Like, so get that mentality. Crazy. Get that mentality. For yeah. sure, because you're going to get your opportunity, you for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think I'm just happy. <laughs> I think I just love playing basketball. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, even though we got all these haters who gonna hate, it's like, bro, y'all can't do what we do. Period. Like, y'all wanna do what we do, but y'all can't do what we do. You know what I mean? I think, like, I just be having a good time. I have fun. Like, say, if you see me hooping, I'm smiling. Yeah. I'm dancing. She dapping people. I'm dapping everybody. <laughs> I'm talking to the fans. I'm yeah. like, I'm just having a great time. Cause I'm like, damn, I was just hooping in the hood for free. You know what I'm saying? Like I was hooping in, at the court for free. And now I'm like getting a bag to do what I would be doing for free. Like if I wasn't getting paid to do this no more, I still would do it. Cause I just love playing basketball. You know what I'm saying? And like you said, being able to throw my mama a little bag on the back end, you know what I'm saying? They hit me and they want, my sister want X, Y, and Z. It's like, I got you, we good. And that's, you know, that's all from me playing a game that I love to play. You know what I mean? So I think like, that's like, that's what it is for me. Like, I just, I just love the game. You know what I mean? Like, I love the hoop. I could go without practice and all that stuff. But when it's time to, like, play, like, I just love the interaction of fans. Like, I love, like, you know, like, people just getting hyped when I say what's happening. Like, just, you know what I'm saying? Like, all that little stuff. It's like, I just love everything about that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Because I know at one point, like, I was them, you know what I'm saying? Like, like dang, like, I, I know I'm going to get there. Like, and they going to feel me when I get there. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to do it. Like she said, hey, I'm going to do it my way. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to step. When I step into this, I'm going to do it my way. They ain't going to be able to deny me. You know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm cold. Like you said, like, if, I, if you know you cold, it's like, I know I'm cold. So you know even if they don't want to mess with me, they ain't going to have no choice but to. You know what I mean? Like, they going to have to. They going to have to feel me. And I think, like, just my energy. Yeah. And the passion behind it's like, man, I just love the game. Like, I, and I have so much fun playing it, so. Me too. I mean, that's the oh. line. Like, I love the game. I think that's oh. what I be chasing. Like, I just love to be out on the court because I just think it's so much fun. Like, I think basketball is so fun, but it's a blessing for me. Like, when you look up and see everything you have, like, after, like, all this time, I'm like, I'm living how I want. I can go on vacation when I want. I can buy what I want. I can, you know what I mean? It's just a lifestyle you start to get used to, and I'm just like... I like that, you know what I mean? I don't struggle, like I grew up in a, a rough, you know, household, you know, not rough like that, but just not much money. So I'm just like, now it's just like, I can do whatever I want, when I want, go on vacation, you know, and I ain't gotta be like, give me a couple months. It's just like, where we going, you know? But for me, it's just that lifestyle you start to get used to. But I think everybody here is the love for the game at some point because why would we put 90% of our time into this if we didn't love it? We be killing ourselves. You know what I mean? Like We, we be we do killing this. ourselves. And I, I tell kids when I talk to them, I'm like, you do this 90% of the time. Why wouldn't you give it your all? Like, no matter what comes out of it, like, always be your best. You know what I mean? Your best might not measure up, but, like, just always be your best. Because I always think about what I'm going to tell my kids based on my experience. And it scares the shit out of me. Because I'm like, <laughs> what do I tell them? Like, <laughs> fight and fight and fight. And you may <laughs> just come, you know, like, you know? <laughs> run your heart. Like, you know, so I, okay. but no, it's just the love for the, the kids. The dope part is you scared, but you creating the life for your kids yeah. that you didn't have. Yeah. And I think that's a beautiful thing in itself. Yeah. So <laughs> they're going to see you and be like, I can be that too. Right. Yeah, just sure. keep fighting, baby. Yeah, just yeah, keep sure. fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I can't wait to see you guys on the court this month. It's going to be so dope to see you sprinkle your joy all yeah. on the AU courts. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. So, this thank was dope. That really got so cool. She's really good. <laughs> Rock. Okay. Y'all sat down on the bottom.